Yo, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. In this episode, we are continuing our rolling over of American territories by attacking the pirate capital of Antigua. So let's get to it. So we've got a few territories that we can actually um, attack right now. We've got Antigua. Uh, the last Huron Territory, plus a large city in South America, Caracas. So I think we do want to just make sure that we maintain this pressure, because we're at a part of the campaign now where we can just start to roll through America quite quickly, and then turn our sights on towards India. Um, so I'm going to go out here. Don't want to fight in the town. Let's try. Actually, let's maybe not select my guards. Or my line infantry guards. They can skirt the town with with pikemen and my buccaneers, I suppose, just in case. And then get my cavalry to push around the right flank with skirmishes. Okay, so they are actually more biased. Well, they're more evenly balanced across the town. So let's. Default rule, run my line up to get into musket range of the um, gunners, get my line infantry guards to start to advance through the town with my pikes and my, with my uh, buccaneers as well, cavalry, run out to those woods, Let's maybe make my artillery focus on troops that aren't the aren't the gunners, because once they're within musket range they'll be dealt with quite rapidly. We will want to push through these, push through this area here to attack the mortars, although I suspect they're going after my pikes. Yeah, they're already taking hits. Okay, let's start to be a bit more tactical. My advance is here. That's one mortar crew seen off. Skirmishers push up. Cavalry advance. Okay, that's the gun team. Gun team's persuaded to go away. Keep the line moving forward in some sort of manner. Bring the cavalry in to attack the third light foot. My pikes just have to get involved, otherwise they're just going to get mortared to hell and back. Excellent. Okay, let's... Push my right flank forward again. Gunners... We target some of these blobs of troops centre, particularly the militia, because they are more of a well, a traditional unit, but they're like a they're more of a line unit. The mortar garrison crews are under fire. Shattered, the gunners are shattered. Also, the enemy flank is crumbling. forward, keep my light cavalry skirmishing around the rear. I get my pikemen involved to attack the fifth light foot, then I'll flank my buccaneers around and hit them in the flank. This buccaneer unit wants to charge my line infantry guns, but look at it. My line infantry guards fancy the chances, they're going to go in. I fired your volley. Last volley. You guys charge into the rear. Everybody's set up. Buccaneers running on the flank. 
Their Buccaneers are firing their pistols at us, which is quite pointless. You chase down that unit of Buccaneers. They're only light foot. Okay, let's get my Howard sister engaged. Let's fire lock on citizenry. Got artillery engaged in that unit there. Okay, Buccaneers chase down that mortar crew. Pikes. These Buccaneers are not going to last very long. They've been slaughtered, shattered. Perfect. Um, there's only that unit of stakes to worry about. Let's split up my artillery fire and then get my line infantry moving again because right now they're able to focus on components of my line and pike we need to gain the armed citizenry as well it's oh, them dealt with slaughter them buccaneers slaughter the civilians Got them. Okay, it's everybody against this last unit of light mob now. Oh no. Mortars are routing. Push forward, men. Victory is ours. Pirates are destroyed. Good, 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 good. Another territory for us. So let's get rid of the military governor's barracks. Let's get rid of the naval hospital. Let's rebuild the cobbled or upgrade the cobbled roads. Let's get the army reinforced. Get the plantations upgraded. I mean, we don't need another steam dry dock. We've got one here, which should really. Let's build one for first rate. Well, really, I want first rate to be my admiral, just to keep them kind of safe rather than heavy firsts. Yeah, quite badly um, blockaded, but we don't really care about almost all of that. Right. Get my rake down towards Bogota to see what's going on. These men attack the city of Caracas. This will provide a useful recruiting base for more armies to attack the Americas if we deem more armies necessary, which we might. To be fair, we might. There's always, to be honest, you get to a certain point where you don't need to worry about holding a front line. You just push armies through and take their cities, and then the faction collapses. That's, that is kind of where you end up going. But more armies, more better. But anyway, let's get ready. Um, get my full artillery here just to blast a breach. How oh, it says they got one. They got one more to unit to worry about. But I'm not actually going to. Not much about it to. Not much to worry about with it really. Set up. Set up cavalry. Put artillery, make a hole, how it says, quick climb. So I don't mind if they attack units in the center or like come on the walls because they, they're too far to hit with, um, to hit the center with quick climb, so just attack units on the wall. Well, I must admit, I should have retargeted them at first because they were already targeting the how it says to the rear. 
go. First catch of the day. First two catches of the day, perhaps. Let's speed up time while we make our breach. 28%. They've hit one of my guns, but we've got plenty of foot artillery. We don't... We're not really in a, a risk of... Oh my god. Good quick climb hit. <laughs> Musket auxiliary unit. They managed to survive being hit. Okay, so really, all we all we're interested in is getting that breach, watching the enemy redeploy, then we'll move up and then start targeting other enemy units appropriately. One more volley will do it. Sadly, we won't get many kills as a result of it. Okay, so... Our line can advance. Take our cavalry, get them over into the trees. They will likely be shot at by enemy howitzers, but it's going to happen at some point or another. So my field up and my foot artillery engage. This section of the wall, just in case these guys decide they want to um, occupy the ramparts. Enemy mortars are firing. Shells are landing in the center. We might be able. Oh, let's box off the breach first while we hammer it. You men scale the wall up here. These three units, all of you, run this way. We're going to force the right-hand side gate open. This unit's going to run past this unit on the wall and try to get to the gatehouse. They've abandoned the rampart, so let's get the good artillery instead focusing on bombarding the breach. She bad. Give shot. Okay, the light cab are actually looking to interrupt my plans. Get in this gate. But they're only light cavalry. They're not going to defend this section of the breach. We want to get up here and start firing down into it. Oh yeah, that's got them. That's got them all hot and bothered. One man 
secure that gatehouse. Let, let us in. A couple of good hits. And keep climbing. See, this, so sometimes they, they kind of yeah, they bundle up like this and they'll take forever. So you have to give them a new movement order to be roughly where you want them to be. And they'll spread out again and start climbing up all of the grappling hooks. Breach is still being attacked. This is quite a good series of outcomes for us. Let's keep doing that. They want to charge across at us, but then they, they are failing to do so. He's going to pushing forward, try and defend the breach, or try and defend. The lost gate. They are going to get a successful charge off, but that's not a problem. The U men charge across the gate. Charge across to the gatehouse. Colonial Cat, why are you. How are you doing such a good job? There you go, now you're going down. Go on, you men, once you okay, give them a new order just to spread them out. There's not many of them left, but you still want them to be. for the center. And we're forcing them to come out and try and attack us at the breach, but it's not going to work. When the last man is off the wall, they're going to start firing at will onto the remnants of the people inside the breach. Oh no, wait, they must have been aiming at this unit. Friendly fire quick line strikes again, switched around shot, bombard the town. These men get them off the wall. So you men attack the 13th regiment in the rear. You men attack along the front. You my clonal light cavalry here doesn't really have much of a day in what's going on at the moment. But still. Kill the enemy general, which is always good. Kill the Mortarman, or the last Mortarman. Got him. Kill the gunners. Infantry take position in the center. Fire will off, fire will on. You can see they're bugging out here. Cease fire the artillery. Regiment of foot move in. Form up behind. Curiosity move forward and attack the, the regiment of foot, I think. Actually, no, maybe help out against the light cavalry here. forward attack the twelfth There we go. The poor thirteenth regiment, unlucky for some, they have been utterly surrounded on the walls, but they aren't going down. 
42 seconds remaining. Not a huge amount the enemy can do about what's happening to them. Kill the last gunner. Excellent. Come on, you men. These are the cowards of the unit. Kill the last of these. This regiment of foot, they're fighting to the death. Now oh, there we go. The enemy's broken. I'll oh, kill the 18th as they run through you. Got about 20 odd kills there. Nice. Caracas is ours. This is a great staging point for future operations, and they're a good Catholic region. So let's get the repairs going. Let's get the army reinforced. Get the farms upgraded because this area does get two ports, which is really useful. Upgrade the coffee plantation because then we'll get those to market. Excellent. That's really good. Obviously, we do have Panama. So Bogota's boxed in, um, but we need other troops. We need to clear out. Um, New Granada, and then push north up the coast. But once we've got... So actually, can you afford to leave? You can. Push forward towards the next position. Okay, then we've got... Up here, we are within range of... For Salt St. Marie. So let's destroy the last of the Huron. See you later, fellas. So we'll get them taken out. And yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Then we're a bit stuck in the north, but where we go, we could potentially go west against the Plains Nations. We're at war with the Iroquois, but we don't have any borders at the minute. We could take Montreal, but Montreal opens up a lot of potential um, threat vectors. So... set my infantry up because we are going to advance against the the savage hordes of the Huron. Grenadiers and skirmishers on each flank. It's almost entirely random about how I decide to set my formation up because I've been doing this for a while now and I mean probably it's almost certainly not as long as some of you guys watching, so don't get me wrong, I'm not sat here from a position saying, well, I'm, I'm an expert and this is what happens. No. Um, I've got about 2,000 hours-ish. So at that sort of time, you get used to a certain formations that are generally kind of okay, at least. They're not, they're not particularly optimized in any way, but they aren't exactly, they're not exactly um, weak either. the cavalry are skirmishers and light infantry. So I'm going to advance, but then after we advance, it's very much going to be up to my cavalry to scout. So we know there's some traps over here. The rockets are going to harass them. Interesting. I switched from quick climb to rockets. Aha! Oh no, sorry, this is the artillery that was in quick line range. Okay, looks like we may not have to scout. We're just going to form up. Enemy is coming. Make no mistake. So this is the first wave coming in. It's quite good for them actually. The terrains, my armies are not employed very efficiently. This native bow unit on the flank is probably going to be in some trouble. But as they get closer, as they crest the hill, they come within range of our muskets. We run my heavy cavalry into the bowmen. 
So I want to keep, um, I want to shatter units as I keep, I want to shatter units to make sure they don't come back. You man, pivot. Back into the woods. Okay, let's attack ground the quick line, lest I too overtly charge into my own men. So my skirmishes, so let's fold the flanks in. flank looks quite vulnerable so you men just have to hold although there is a good chunk of bowmen here Sars have broken this bow unit push on to that one okay you don't know you don't need to commit it's a bit might switch my howitzers to round shot because i think we're getting to a point where things can get quite badly out of hand grenadiers come back and attack the warriors Let's actually recall my cavalry. The enemy line is or well, has been annihilated. Grenadiers and skirmishes just don't get to be a part of it for now. My heavy cavalry is engaging the chief bodyguard. Bit of friendly fire here. The rockets. Artillery to round shot to engage those chaps. It's a garrison native bow unit that hasn't been shattered. Just wor don't worry about the Native American warriors. them off the land. Heavy cavalry get back. Artillery is going to not be a super important part of this. Um, some funky, oh, it's going to be like branches or some such. Yes it is. They're going to stop me from deploying. You men are going to deploy like so. Bring the cavalry back. Okay, my artillery is trying to engage automatically, which I don't really want them to do. Just sit back and fire whatever you fancy. All up to this native bow unit. Everybody else is... No, oh, no, some of them are coming back. Chris here done a superb job. Oh, I hear some. Oh, that's these guys. My skirmishers. With their air guns. Capture the village. It's got a bowman. Chief's bodyguard. Rockets are good, even though they're deployed a bit funny, they're going to be able to fire at whatever they like. Excellent. Chase them down. Shattered, broken. It's the only unit left standing. Hit them. 
got one of my a couple of my cuirassier off the saddle. There we go. Delightful. Delicious. Wonderful. Good. Knock down the government building. Then let's get replenishing and building and upgrading. Cobble roads, upgrade the gold mine, upgrade the fur trader. 22 turns till the next town's developed. Great. Okay, upgrade the government building in York factory. Largely, as far as expansion in the Americas has gone, that is everything I can really do. Everybody's either replenishing or upgrading. Excellent. It's gone really well. So, our other efforts in Europe. So you are ready to attack the Italians. You are looking to grow your forces. Get another unit of infantry. You're going to be ready just to provide a bit of a western, eastern threat to Savoy. You're ready to jump on Stuttgart. You are growing. Ready to jump on to Bavaria. Artillery, skirmishers, cavalry. Okay, let's get garrison guard plus a unit of fusiliers. So we're not massively rushing to deal with them yet. Uh, probably want you. Okay, so this army, you were a garrison army, really, an awful long time ago. But now you can recruit infantry and get ready, get involved in the fight that's about to, well, that's going to happen. You're going to get 12 pounder artillery as a second line unit. And you could do with heavy cavalry. Good. Then you're ready to jump onto Klausenberg. Our grand navy naval expansion is still going. Do you want to recruit three more ships? That will probably see you out. So you're really you're going to abandon oh, they really don't know oh, minus one should be fine just in case it's got a conscript i mean minus one in theory should be fine before they even have a chance the right letter of demand and immediately be okay again deploy an army off the coast of naples good then let's recruit a batch of firsts in Valletta. Okay, you need three more. We'll finish you off. And that's about to be done. So I like recruiting firsts in like clumps because these will all be my admiral ships and then everybody will be recruited to the admiral. Um, right. Could probably stand to lose a couple of units of infantry here and replace them with two more interesting elites. Servo vostro, signore. You are ready to find gainful employment in the Americas as a conquering hero. Because you're so close, probably want to keep using this as a good base of operations. Keep growing our armies. Although all these, <laughs> all these agents. One second. Sorry about that. 
Um, all these agents were meant to go with him, but eh, forgot about that. Okay. Al vostro servizio. Si, make the same mistake a second time. Pronti a virare. Pronti a Servo vostro, signore. The new men embark. Signore. Same with the agents, get them all in. Si. Si, Capitan. And get you guys over to America. Ordini, Capitano. Le navi viaggiano in mare, mio signore. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Rupert, you're out to the land. There we go. Avanti, in marcia! Ernesto, get your army Signore, alla via così. sent over as well. You probably send one more, uh, one more unit. Signor, si. okay, let's take you guys out now. Get you guys in. Plus a unit of experienced In colonial marcia. line. Piegare le vele, qualche ordine? Siamo pronti. Good. Signore. Excellent. La nave è in condizioni perfette, capitano. So I think most of the other armies in Europe probably going to start to be uh, going to end up being my India invasion force for the most part I think so these units are making their way down to their intended so my front line against India is going to be quite strong you could probably stand just to be a little bit closer to Ankara so that when you recruit stuff, they've not got as far to go. You're going to get these howitzers. So you need some howitzers you've got. You need... 24 pounders to take 7 turns, so methinks 12 pounders are order of the day. God, it's chugging, trying to work out where to put them. So three of those, you want some form of skirmisher. Three turns is a while. Let's get a unit of riflemen and a unit of sharpshooters. Garrison Guard unit. So that's six units being recruited. You've currently got 11, so you can get three more. One unit of Fusiliers. Then a unit of Colonial Line. Great. Oh no, sorry. Two guns coming in. Okay, then you don't. You've already got two elite infantry. You probably don't need. Let's get rid of unit of fusiliers plus a unit of line. Great. And you'll also be ready. Yeah, you're ready to jump and take out Dagestan immediately. You're ready to attack Ardabil. Then we'll have three armies ready to advance. Well, one to advance and take Esfahan, the city proper. And then a couple to advance down the road towards the Hedon. Although if we take out Esfahan in one blow, I think with Persia, if we take Esfahan, they, these become Afghanistan. But then again, then again, Nerun might complicate that. Hmm. One of you may end up getting tasked with invading Trincomalee because that is also a reasonable staging point yeah I might do that let's take my light take a light galley up to London 
You're kind of unhappy. But we should be able to do some control of you. Okay, let's get you. Oh, you can't make it yet. So let's get you into Wardsford. Get this ship out. Good. Can I think? Two. One, two, three, four. Cool. Then you're ready to take Tripoli. So I'm not that far off of actually initiating Order 66. Cool. Yeah, you'll be getting some as well, 13 colonies. <laughs> you think you can demand us to make peace with you? No way, Jose. Okay. Yeah, some of these German states are going to be a tough nut to crack. We're going to have to be very careful how we deal with them. We're going to want to make sure that we try not to completely kill units until we've got control of the city as a whole. Ah, pirates. What you're doing will not help you. Cinemary. Yeah. Okay. Crates gained. Good stuff. Ports blockaded. Alright, let's get upgrading Moroccan farms and Moroccan ports. That's both of you. We've got top level roads. Comey, you can't get any more of a state capital. Okay, Moscow. Yeah. Good the theatre. Just in case London gets a bit unhappy with me, we'll recruit some Dragoons because they're very good garrison units. So most military buildings, unless you're in your capital, you just can't you can't build the higher ones. So here, this artillery school is shown as, the, with the um, the gold pips to the right, as having 6 out of 6. And here it's shown as being 6 out of 7 because that one can only be built in your capital. So there is a limit. Like the army board can be upgraded. Good. So that'd have been a minor hit to my economical um, benefits from these colonies, but that's just because we need to. Well, it, it's the civil administration buildings are better off for public order and for money. Whereas your military governor's barracks are great for fighting wars, which we don't really need to worry about. We've got oodles of military production available in Europe. Cool. Fleet arrives. So, Alfio Matarazzi, you are going to go after Martinique. You're going to join Sloop at Barbados. This force is going to land at. Ooh, it's going to come around this way and land off of the coast of Punda. Worst comes to the worst, I'll just divert them to Caracas if they can't make it, but realistically, that's the one place they can make landfall. And you also flee to Barbados. Then two to the north. Sadly, the Inuit and the and Quebec are enemies or allies of Dagestan. We're going to send one to Montreal. So then this army here on territory can actually go west and attack the Plains Nations peoples. Because there isn't really a huge amount of places for these ships to divert to. Can you make it to? You can. 
I think New Orleans. Takes a bit of time to cross the seas. Yeah, let's fight it. Another city captured. Well, another city to be captured under our <laughs> under our mighty Venetian boots. Then we need to go around and make sure that we upgrade uh, some of the new buildings from our captured territories. You're actually, that's actually pretty good. Although you are going to be fireable off while my line gets past you. All oh, my elites on the right flank. Carabino are going to be fire at will. Oh, just stop them killing my own cavalry from my own stupidity. Right, fire at will. Oh. Storm forward. We are afraid of no band of savages. Now they're in front. Fire and move. New fire shot. You are in range. I just made the switch. That was a misfire. There they are. Well, there's some of them anyway. <laughs> okay, switch my. Oh, it says. Oh, there they all are. Okay, let's actually blast with shrapnel shot. They want to advance into the woods on the right, but we will advance to meet them. Where are your friends? Where are your compadres? Here they come. Brave fools. Charging. They're charging. Show them our strength. Show them our strength. Arabina are ready to let loose a volley. There are still, they've got about um, five or six units, so there's still one unit on the field that hasn't revealed themselves yet. There we are. To kill their general, they're going to try and protect their commander, but they're going to get ridden down too fast. Shattered. General killed. Get on your way, cavalry. Okay, let's just lead them around the mulberry bush back to the to the line. See you later, alligator. You're not close enough. Cavalry came in, slaughtered your general, and then left. Break off attack! 
Oh, batteries fire, fire. Poor, poor souls. Actually, you know what? All batteries aren't going to fire. You, you want the thunder? Here it comes. Switched around shot. Engage that unit of troops back there. There we go. Didn't even fancy it. Couldn't even see what was going on. Just the sound of battle was enough to make them go, no. I stand it. There's no point slaughtering them. The victory is ours. The fortress is taken. It is over. Excellent. Let's get Nice replenish, let's get the fort repaired. So the Louisianans were raiding. Don't have to do any more of that. So if you're attacking Montreal, you actually first of all make sure we are building everything that needs to be built because we can't. Okay, you, they're blockading both of our ports, but that's fine, because our army is here. <laughs> then we're going to attack San Jose. Uh, we've done plenty of these small fights, let's just take it out. Good. Great steam powered. Well, so Martinique and Punda and Jamaica are the last pirate territories soon to be captured. You men push down towards, keep pushing down towards Bogota. Do one last check that we've sorted out all of the fleets arrived. You've not arrived yet. Nope, that's fine. Okay, all of our naval recruitment's been, well it's not done, but it's ongoing. Okay. Two more firsts of this force. They can sail out and join their comrades in India. I'm gonna want. See if you got militia, dragoons. It's militia we want really. So want a unit of militia in all of these ports, so they can be used for um, deployments. Like I, I can get fleets in and out without causing any issues. Great you. It's a bunch of third rates. Same treatment again with first rates. Where were you going? You were going to join them. Very well. But you will come down here. You will be an admiral. And then I will upgrade. Start recruiting more ships to the fleet. One, two. Something like that. There we go. I don't think we show up on the prestige charts, but if we did, we'd be huge. Although, actually, there's only three major nations left. The Mughal Empire, the 13 colonies, and the US. Mughals love us. But 13 colonies, not so much. And then, actually, our perception across the board's quite mixed. We've got these very long trade relationships. I think that's really, that's the big thing. Um, but let's hit enter. Reinforcements are making their way to the front.
don't worry. You will get yours, 13 colonies, as will you, Louisiana. New Spain's already getting theirs. So when we, when war begins against the Mughal Empire, we need to strike first and destroy all those, um, destroy all those invasion fleets they've got. Yep, they're panicking. And they're going, oh no! We're about to be annihilated. Yep, that's darn true. New town, Suez in Egypt. Have you already got a religious building? You don't, but you're already pretty Catholic as it is anyway. Okay. Okay, let's get you down to this. The light galleys... Oh, I did not want to recruit Admiral. <laughs> Demote the Admiral. Let's go for the ship. Bring this militia down to Casabranca. Scuff by the ships. You guys need to figure out what I want to do with you. Before we do that, though, carry on with the upgrades. York Factory, Governor's Residence. Yeah, we've done that. Find the fair market. Forgot about you. And the roads. Oh. Good. Get on the stuff. College. Oh, the Catholic buildings are, gr are growing in England. Oxford, yeah. Yes, our export empire must must continue to grow. Gunnery school in Edinburgh. Salamanca's iron workshops. Lisbon's buildings. Good. Done all the stuff in Portugal. France is fully upgraded. You know, Lucia. Get his clearances. Good. Who is ahead of us at Bogota? They are not even defending capital, so they're somewhere up here. If I had to guess. Then, right. Just attack Martinique. Just take it. <laughs> Just take it. And this sloop can come out. Can you leave? No, it's because they're a pirate territory. Can I pick up? You out of the Bahamas. Upgrade the magistrate. Upgrade. Okay, so one rake go to Charleston. One rake get to Cherokee Territory. One rake go up to Louisiana. So, can you leave the Bahamas? You can. You're going to land on shores of Jamaica. Yes, I was going to say, it should be part blocked. Sail around the enemy control zone. Deposit the army. And then lead to Holguin. Good, good, good. Punders are nearly ready. Let's move a sloop over to Demerara. 
Pronti a virare? Sì, capitano. Ordini? Ok. What sort of recruitment's ongoing? Looking at the time, there we are at the end of the episode. So I'm going to tee the next episode up with a bit of action at least. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Punda. Cheers, everyone.